hello and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to paint a blue butterfly uh, this is the sketch and these are the colors i'm going to use mainly blue uh thiel blue turquoise and uh, cerulean blue and for the dark uh, edges of the wings i'm going to use a mix of sepia and uh, uh, thiel blue uh, here at the end i'm going to draw some lines with uh, uh, the fine liner dark sepia uh, from faber castle and um, i'm going to start very very light with very very light wash it's a uh, cerulean blue and i'm going just to keep it very light because um, uh, the photo that uh, my reference photo had very light colors ex uh, especially in the center of the wings uh, beside the uh, or near the uh, the body of the butterfly it's uh, darker than the other part of the wings so uh, there I I started with uh, a light wash of cerulean blue and then I added a little bit of turquoise and then I added a third wash of a uh, thiel blue um, then I am I'm just I think I'm I was lifting off some of the of the dark blue there and um, it's it's just after after the uh, it's uh, it's dry. Uh, usually, watercolor is a little is more lighter than uh, when we started with. So uh, after it's dry, you're going to find that it's uh, much lighter than this. And uh, then for the edges of the wings, uh, this is sepia with a little bit of. A thiel blue in some areas I also added uh, a lizard and crimson because I thought that in the f in the photo in the reference photo it was a little bit uh, um, the sepia was a little bit or the dark the dark area was was a little bit warm so that's why I added uh, a lizard and crimson as a bit of red uh, of course, these areas that uh, that I left uh, uh, empty or white, this is the white of uh, the paper itself. And of course, in watercolor, you're going to find that the white of the paper is, um, is the, the best thing if you want uh, light areas or, or white areas. So it's, th that's why I draw the, uh, uh, these uh, circles bigger than I should have at the beginning like that so it will be easier to just paint around them and then at the end I just uh, I used um, uh, the dark uh, uh, sepia again to just make them uh, smaller uh, here this uh, the design uh, of the wings had uh, some um, uh, sections like that so I am using the very dark sepia just to to, uh, to emphasize the these areas and uh, then uh, because of course uh, the sepia is very dark so I used um, uh, the wet brush in order to make it lighter and to drag the the color uh, around on the wing on the wing so it's not that intense color i'm going to use the same technique and in the other wing also it's the same thing 